played in uh, 19 other Australian Opens. You'd only ever played another Australian once. Your 20th, you get one in the first round. Was it something you were hoping to avoid? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, it was always bound to happen, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, especially now, you know, that I've got a, a second hat on and, you know, a full-time job as Davis Cup captain. So, um, yeah, it's obviously a bit surprising that I haven't played more over the years, you know, with all the, the wild cards that, you know, Australians get into the tournament as well. But, um, you know, it's, it's awkward, but in, in another way, it's, you know, it's going to be fun to go out there with Ducks. Um, you know, I've tried to help him out a lot over the last few years. He's been part of the Davis Cup squad on a, a number of occasions, and he's a great kid. Um, and I think he's, he's going to push on the next couple of years and, and get a lot better. The other one was 2003 against Todd Larkham. Any memories of that match? Yeah, it was pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. What's the most uh, dangerous thing about Ducks' game for you? Um, oh, he's got a good serve, good forehand. You know, he's got a uh, quality first serve, good second serve. Uh, gets a lot of kick off the court as well. Um, and, you know, he's a different kind of player. He's a good competitor as well, very good competitor. Um, he changes up his game style. He comes in a little bit, you know, stays back, um, tries to rush you at times. But, um, you know, I've seen him play some really high-quality tennis. Um, yeah, he beat Simon in Brisbane last year. Had a good match with Roger here, uh, the only other time that he played on centre court. And um, I saw him push Nishikori in Washington last year as well, which I was impressed with. Clayton, does it feel real to you that you might be one, way, one match away from the end? Uh... Sort of. I don't, I don't really know how it feels, to tell you the truth. It's, you know, a tad strange feeling, but, um, you know, I'm just trying to soak it up as, as much as possible. I guess it's uh, different in the fact that, you know, if you do go out, then yes, it is the end, but then, you know, you've got to try and block that out as much as possible, and then you could go through and go through all the same emotions again, you know, two days later as well. So um, that, that's going to be the tough part to deal with. How have you seen your role change as you've progressed in your career as far as first coming up as a youngster and then being world number one? Do you, do you feel like you've taken on a different role as your career has gone on? Well, I, yeah, the last probably five years or so I've taken on a more mentoring role with the younger Australian boys and, um, you know, especially in terms of the Davis Cup squad and, you know, even trying to help them out, you know, and hit with those guys a lot. You know, when I'm on the road as well, a lot of guys have come to my houses and, and trained with me, whether it's in Australia or overseas. Um, but I've enjoyed that and seeing these younger guys get better and, and you know, they're going to be the leaders of, of our sport and our great country. So, um, you know, I've taken a lot of pride in that. What do you mean? Physically? I feel pretty good. Yeah, I've been really happy. Um, we played pretty good in the Hopman Cup and then uh, you know, had the fast four in Sydney, which is a good hit out, and then played two really quality matches in, in Adelaide, actually. Um, so I felt like just to get you know, that match toughness back and into the routine of playing matches again. So uh, the last two weeks has been good and I you know, had a good hit out with Fed yesterday. I hit with Murray this afternoon, so I um, you know, hit with the best guys. Are there still the same pre-tournament nerves going into to this last event or is it a completely unique feeling this time around? Um, no, I think it's still similar. You know, just the build-up and obviously the demands are sometimes, you know, a bit more at the moment. Um, but, you know, as I said, I've tried to enjoy it as much as possible. But, you know, a couple of days out from a slam, you're always a bit on edge and a bit nervous. And I think... That's the same for every player. It doesn't matter how many times you've done it or you know, if it's your first or possibly your last. So, um, you know, the first match of a slam's you know, never the easiest, I don't think. What are you anticipating from the, the Rod Laver Arena crowd? Obviously, the majority of them are here to see you perhaps for one of the last times, but a bit different going out against another Australian? Uh, yeah, it will be. You know, obviously, you know, I think I'll probably have a fair bit of support out there, but you know, it is a unique situation and you know, it's something that I haven't had to deal with playing another Aussie on Rod Laver Arena um, that much. So, you know, I just try and go out there and put on a good show. Oh. Which was the most important uh, rivalry of your career and uh, why? Uh, I think against Roger, you know, purely because we grew up, you know, we're the same age, grew up together. Um, we had a connection with... Yeah, his coach Peter Carter and, and my first coach and then Darren Kale. So Peter Smith and Darren Kale were very close to Peter Carter as well. So I'd say, you know, and obviously the some of the epic 
matches in my career especially, and more so than probably Roger's career, he's had a few more epics, um, were against Roger. Do you think for such a long time you've been the standard bearer for the Australian men? How long do you think the Australian public can wait for another man to win a Grand Slam tournament? Uh, well, it's hard to say. I think uh, Nick and Bernie are you know, in, a, in a decent position now, you know, the next three years to, to have a real crack. Um, the small areas of their game they're still got to work on, but obviously you know, Nick, over five sets in slams, that's where he plays his best tennis, but he's going to have to do it probably you know round the 16 onwards or th even third round here onwards against absolutely quality players over five sets and how he can back up you know two days later and be able to keep doing that that's the big question um, but he's only going to get better in the next three to five years anyway uh, you've got Tanasi after that you know going to be pushing forward after his surgery um, but you know hopefully they put themselves in a position uh, you know to, to make the semis and then you know draws can open up and anything can happen